everybody. So it has been a day or two since I could get back. Let me see. Let's do it that way. Um, back online. Ended up with COVID. Then I had a little surgery. And then, wow, I was behind. But it is time. It is time to get back. Get to meet you new people. And those of you that are so awesome and you watch everything and you love everything, um, I just want to get back and spend some time with you. So my desk is a mess. I've got a couple dogs, the new dog, Penny, and my dog under here, she is just chewing up something, but at least she's being good. i got to say that. Um, so real quick, this one is from our door hanger club. We are now accepting new members. Well, there are four options. Remember, there is a couple seasonal, a lifestyle, and then a snarky one. This is relax, sit, and unwind. And it's by far the most popular of the choices. I mean, it has Adirondack, Adirondack chairs on them. So let me grab some scissors. I'm going to take the plastic off, and we're going to go ahead and get to painting on this. Scissors. Scissors would be good. I'm straddling a baby basset right now. <laughs> It might get difficult. So, hey, hey, let me know where you're watching from. Um, it may get difficult to film. And this is just a great way for you to see what, oh, hi, what I have, what I have to offer, see if I'm up your alley. Um, maybe you love me, maybe you hate me. And it's okay. Video is so powerful. It really lets you feel like you know me. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to dinner and somebody has come up and said, oh my gosh, and I'm like, I love it. I feel like Justin Bieber a long time ago. <laughs> Not really. So then there are a few people that uh, recycle that. Um, so, but unfortunately that is just a part of the process is the plastic. So you have these adorable Adirondack chairs, which are a little hard to say. Probably a little hard to say after you've been sitting in them drinking a little cerveza. Wait, that's beer, right? Gotta stay in school, people. Okay. <laughs> um, and then for those of you that, or maybe you're drinking some vino de la casa. Who knows? That's the only thing I picked up in my travels to Italy. That's all you needed to know was house wine. Walk into any little store. So you have a nice relax. And then what I love about this design is the sit and unwind is one, it's been bridged. No, it's not been bridged. It's been stuck together. And so you really don't have to do the tape trick for anything unless you really, really want to. So remember the tape trick is where we take some tape, put the sticky side up, put the letters like for tomorrow's design. There's a lot of pieces on that one. I feel like Mr. T, I pity the fool. No, <laughs> no, it's a really pretty design. Okay, so, and then be careful with these words. They can, this one's pretty good. That's why I love it so much. Um, but some of the connectors are thin and just, you know, kind of delicate. So guys, you're gonna have to um, just be careful. Um, a couple times, you know, in paint party world where the mamas have a little bit of vino to drink. Obviously their Hulk syndrome comes through <laughs> and those suckers snap. So what you can do is just, you'll just paint them yeah. and then obviously their Hulk syndrome. Boom, that came out again. Um, hey, there's a doggy. That's a new dog. Or as my kids like to call her, low budget Scooby-Doo. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, I don't remember. Okay, so yeah, just be careful with the words. Maybe you're doing a different one and not relax. Relax is pretty good. But if they were to snap, you can glue them back on your board and nobody would know. But you, but then you'd know, so you'd be a little bummed. So yes, my table is totally a mess. I had the COVID, I had the vid, people. My last video I did with you guys, I was like, oh, I'm sounding weird. That was a Friday. On, on Sunday I went in, or Monday I went in, I was like, I needed something for my sinus infection. And they said, girl, you don't have a sinus infection. You got the vid, go home. <laughs> so, all right. So for the background, I'm going to do just our basic stain that we do. And it's not a stain because then you'd have to wait for it to dry. It is a watered down acrylic 
anybody could do this step and it looks great. So we use a five millimeter um, board that has a really nice wood pattern to it. You're gonna get some variations, it's just the way it is, but this is gonna be underneath my glue on, so I'm okay with that, I'm okay with that. So we try to be careful that they don't pop through. Um, and then sometimes people just design their own way, but by having it etched, you know, kind of right where it goes. And since these are all components, I'm ready for it. So if you have your Martha Stewart bouncer, you can bring it out. There's like a five piece set. She owes me some money. I talk about her things all the time. I can't find them anymore um, online, um, but you can just kind of get in there and get it done. Or you could just take a big chip brush, the big chip brush, or even bigger and get it done. So I chose a dark brown. Let me see if I can see any comments yet. Thanks so much for joining. I know I see most of you guys watch uh, the, the after, what do you call it? The swipe left. I'm swiping left. There we go. So let me write hi. So I know a lot of you are watching the preview or the, the post view. What do you call that? The replay. Wow. That was tough. Okay. So I'm going to take quite a bit of water and I'm going to water down my stain. This is I believe earth brown, but you could do, oh, dare I say teal. You could do teal, any color you want. So basically the relax, sit and unwind is a universal message. So where I would put it is at the family cabin, in the backyard. If you guys are known for your backyard uh, barbecue parties, number one, why wasn't I invited? Because I like to eat, <laughs> number two. Good for you, I love it. I married an introvert, and he really doesn't like people. I mean, he likes persons, but groups, and I have to really, I get one a year and I gotta make it good. One party a year and I make it good, it's a blowout. Okay, so I feel like I wanna go a little deeper. So I wanna show you something. You see how it has almost um, like a dirty lavender color right there? It's because we make, um, burnt sienna with dark purple, dioxazine purple, and a bright yellow. That's why if you order a dark brown and the paint company didn't really stir it very well, you're going to see like a purple look to it. I had that happen recently. I mean, I shook and I shook and it didn't matter what I was doing. It was not moving from the purple base. So I had to take it back only because it was special wood paint. It was so special. So basically I'm doing half. You could do all if you move that grain. She wants, we kind of always just kind of gift our very, very used cars to our kids that are driving. And uh, they never like them because, you know, moms drive mini SUVs. My, my husband calls it a suck. Instead of an SUV, it's a what do you call it? Whatever car instead of utility vehicle, sports utility vehicle. It's a sports utility car. And you know, she of course doesn't want it. She wants a different car. I don't care. I'm going to put you in a cage so you're safe because mama loves you. Um, Sydney wrecked about seven times. Little tiny booms, you know, just like boop never really a big deal. Sean, he did it big. He was in a ditch with water upside down. And if he was in any other car, I'd be down probably one kid, which is sad to say, but I'm just so happy I put him in a, in a Durango is just a beast. It had like almost 200,000 miles on it. Oop. And so it's not a question of if it's, they're gonna, they're gonna wreck your car. So I don't buy them anything fancy. They get what I had. It was good enough for me. It's good enough for them. But now this car has too many miles on it. I go back and forth to Maple Valley and King County, Pierce County so much. And then to Montana to see mama and daddy. I'm going to put this aside. It looks discolored here. It's going to dry. It's going to be okay. So I'm excited. I'm happy about that. I'm going to put it down here. If you guys see one of the hound dogs pulling it though, just give me a heads up. So I'm going to just take my little braces away. 
and get another polite. I'm just so excited to be here with you guys. So if you love the idea of our door hangers, if you were to buy them off of our website, they're $39 without paint or anything for this size. We have them available smaller and 12 inch. But our door hanger club, we reward you for being like, like your frequent flyer mile card. And we reward you for being, you know, signing up to get one every other month. So they're $29. We don't go lower than that. So we wrap them up, put them in a box. They're bare bones because my crafty friends, you have your own paint, you have your own brushes. You don't need mine. So now I'm confused. What should I do? So I'm doing brown. I'm going to save this sit and unwind. I'm going to go right for the Adirondack chairs. And then just make sure you have the right size. Side. Sorry. So there is some laser burning that happens. And if yours, this isn't too bad. If yours has a lot of soot, maybe magic eraser the side. Because if you were doing a white, it would very well mix. The soot could mix. And that's just a byproduct of cutting with a CO2 laser, guys. And it really just depends piece to piece because of product. Okay, so do you guys see these, um, I wanna get close enough so that you can see, these um, marks here, that would be the wrong side. So you're gonna flip that over. This one just has a couple scorch marks, that's it. And that is your clean front side. This one looks like, see this one is pretty much the same on both and it's just the way the laser cut this one. But the one that's more modeled, it looks like it has a skin condition. <laughs> that's your back side. So a lot of times where people screw up, and this one you can't screw up because it's a simple design, um, but sometimes people put paint the wrong side and at paint parties they'll be like, Kelly Sue, it doesn't go in. And I'm like, flip, oh, you painted the wrong side. No big deal. That's where the paint trick or the tape trick really helps you by keeping the pieces the right side and you just can't keep in track of your stuff. So I have four chairs. So... A lovely lady did one recently and she used red, white, and blue. It was very patriotic. I adored it. I felt like I could have that up all summer long, except that's not really part of my decor. And I do love bringing out my patriotic stuff, but then I do love my teals and my cool colors. You know how I am. And then I do happen to have some glitter and some glitter glue which is just watered down craft smart glue. So I don't know if I'm gonna glitter this one up or I'm gonna be a big kid and pretend that I'm a big adult and I don't need any glitter, but man, I don't know, that's, that's a hard proposal. Okay, there will be teal on mine. Lori, if you're watching, keep your comments to yourself. No, of course I love your comments. So Lori, 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 love her. She calls me out, oh my gosh, everything's teal. I know, I know. Teal. I have some burgundy. It says deep burgundy. It's from Deco, Deco Art. I don't know if I'm going to use it. And the reason why is it's pretty dark on my background. I want my chair to stick out, but I might rub the edges with gold. I, I kind of have a vision in my head, a very, very small vision. Do I want a green chair? I do like green, but I might take it like sea hockey green here in a second. And here's a blue, it's called Royal Blue, it's Anita's, and it has a kind of a purple hue to it. Like a periwinkle. Not, it's not a lot, guys, but it does have kind of a periwinkle-y look to it. Really, if you hate these colors, that's okay. If you get this design, make it your own. That's completely fine. Really, Lou, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna cry. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Okay, I'm gonna get my old lady glasses on. And I'm just gonna take and make it easy. So you can either use makeup sponges. And I don't know who in America is hogging the makeup sponges, but I'll order them from Amazon and then I'll get refunded. But it takes a while to find out what I'm getting refunded and then I'll have a paint party and I go, crap, where is my paint, my makeup sponges? So there are some women out there they're painting the barn. They're making their shelf really, really pretty, I'm guessing. Um, or other people like me are just hogging them. Stop hogging the makeup sponges, people. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna go lighter to darker just to save my sponge brush. And I was really lazy the last time I used it and I forgot to clean it. So I could snip that. Let's just do that. Get a little bit, oh, come on. All right, it's gonna be like a loaf of bread, I think. I'm gonna keep cutting until it's smooth. It's always a hot mess. Apparently the dogs are now gonna wrestle. I said we got this new dog. Oh, really girls, ladies. Take your testosterone out. Okay, so I'm gonna go lighter. So I don't wanna to go to my Adirondack chair with this glop. So I'm gonna take it to my towel and remove some of it. And then this just goes really, really quick, guys. Talk about having a nice, easy um, craft that you can put on your door or gift someone. We have really, really gotten into the wood project. So if I push too hard, what's gonna happen? That's my leg. Hi guys, is it's gonna goo down the sides. And then, then you have to decide, am I gonna paint the sides? I'm not, cause I'm, I'm, I'm me and it doesn't bother me, but I know there's some of you out there and raise your hand if it's you, um, that you just got to have it all perfect and that's fine. I love that. So I went lighter, I can always go darker. So I'm gonna skip my turquoise and it's from Deco Art. That is Peacock Teal. You can find that one in any Michael's store. But I mean, seriously, if you're having a little girlfriend party, you can just do the little bottles, uh, the two ounces. You probably have enough for four of you. So I'm just gonna kind of clean that out. I'm gonna go into the, the Peacocky. What is this color? Royal blue, and it looks purple. Maybe that's why it's royal, because the Aztec or purple. Remember, it's gloopy. Take it to your towel, get rid of a little. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. I feel like I just I just jumped in to the class because uh, I'm kind of concerned as to how the ladies are going to perform in the background <laughs> today. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. I already love that color combination. Can you, do, we all, the day they made those plastic, colorful Adirondack chairs, at first I went, well, I like the wood. But then I was like, they have my colors. They have the lime green. They have the teal. They have the dark teal. They have this royal, royal blue. Um, they have it all. I just loved it. I mean, Ace had them first. And then they went to Walmart, got them, and they're cheap. We have a couple of these chairs down on our property. Um, we'll take the four-wheeler down, and John put Christmas lights in a tree. So I'm just going to flip this over and try to remember to color it later, or to wash it later. He put Christmas lights in a tree, and we go down, and girls, really, they're literally barking under the table. Um, we have a little date night. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just... I don't know, do I want that green? I know I want a red. Ladies, ladies, ladies. I'm going to do the red first, and then I'll decide if I want to go dark, turquoise, or the green. Because I'm thinking it. So it's gloopy. I'm going to blob it off. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just kind of brush it on. And you could do multiple coats, guys. I can see the royal blue is going to need a multiple coat. I might not need to do the red a second time because I am going to hit it with some gold. I can just see it. It's happening. If I'm done with that, I can throw it in the water. But because I probably am going to give a second coat, I'm not going to do that. I did want to demonstrate the um, makeup sponges. So you want it the sponge. You don't want the cottony thing. So if you're like, hello, Sue, it just didn't work. Well, not the cotton, honey. The spongy one. And then they have different grades of sponges. So I'm thinking, and I don't know that I'm seeing any comments today, but I'll come back and I'll answer everything. <laughs> Lou, quit pushing me over. Um, ta -da -da. You can let me know if you want lime. Ladies, ladies. And now I have to vacuum again. If I want lime green or if I want the turquoise. I feel like I could do the turquoise. That'd be okay. The lime green would be a huge pop of color. Ladies, could we go 
choose something somewhere. This is where I sacrifice some paintbrushes. So here's one that's killed, that's dead. Here guys, ready, ready, okay, ready, okay. Seriously, you have to have the same paintbrush. Well, if it's not working out, I can always, you know, just sign off, but hopefully you guys are dog people and it's not annoying you too much. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the dark tur turquoise first, and then I can make that decision to change these, and I can always flip them if I needed to. So I'm gonna demonstrate. So I'm just gonna take the flat side. Again, I dab on, I bounce off, pushes the paint into the sponge so I don't have gloops. And I'm just going to, gosh, not the Hulk. You're not like drip. Just lightly sponge painting this. And what you can do is you can just do several coats. It dries really quick. Yes, you use more paint. But man, you're done quickly. I like to use the sponge brushes on medium sized pieces to, you know, the lettering for sure. Maybe the smalls even. And you only need one or two. So if you were buying a bunch and, um, or even you went to like Hobby Lobby and got some of their wood designs, maybe it's Michael's, maybe it's Hobby Lobby. I don't go in Hobby Lobby very much. So I don't know about a bunch about them. I kind of like that design. Um, you could definitely use the makeup sponges. You only need one or two. So now I'm gonna go ahead, flip this over. And I'm gonna go ahead and I should have given my teal. So I'm just gonna clean it off by doing that. I should have given my light teal a second coat before I moved on, but that's okay. It's working. I pretty much cleaned it out. Wow, it's gorgeous. I want this chair on my deck. Okay, so Adirondack chairs are really cool and skinny people think they're comfortable. But if you're plumpity plump like me, um, I feel like I need to grab a pillow and stick it on my stomach <laughs> so that I'm not, you know, so that, that, that prominent parts of me are not facing forward, let's say. Boom. You get it. Us women, we grab little pillows all the time and cover up, I call it the pouch. My husband will go in to give me a little hug and I'm like, not the pouch. Not the pouch, people, not the pouch. He gets it. The baby pouch. You could just leave one coat on and they'd be really weathered looking. Or what you could do is just um, go ahead and just, you know, paint it as much as you want. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna flip it over to my red. We got this done in no time. Paint on, bounce off. And when I add a little gold accent to the red, oh my gosh, really almost perfect. It's gonna, the red will pop out a little bit more. I can do silver to the cool colors, but because my red is a deeper tone, then what's gonna happen is it's not going to stick way out. This one's the one that sticks out. Okay, so I am now done with my sponge. I'm gonna stick it in my water. It wants to float, but at least, at least it'll be fine. Oh, you're okay. You had a paintbrush already. Sorry to tell you. I know Lou. That's Lula. She was our baby till we got our um, budget Scooby-Doo from Sydney. She just, you know, she just didn't have room. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll take, I'll take the dog. Now we need a fence. It's a lot of dog, a lot of dog. But she's so sweet, we love her. Okay, so let's pull out our pieces. You could use wet wipes and clean up right now if you wanted to. Hold on, where did those wood? Right here. Okay. Ta -da! My wood stand. You wanna absolutely make sure you don't have any squeezing through or when you do this, you're going to leave paint on your motherboard. Let's call that the motherboard. 
So you can go to the blow dryer and blow dry that. That's my kind of trick. And I see it all the time in paint parties. Mamas have been, you know, enjoy, having some libations and totally enjoying themselves, relaxing. And then they go to put these in place, not realizing that they pressed hard and the glue ooze or the paint ooze. And they're like, crap, but they use more colorful language. Ta-da. Don't you want to be here? I totally want to be here. And then, where, what's the other word? Sit and then line. So I have to decide what I want to do here. And so, in the um, door hanger club, where you can get this, the, the least expensive way we have, I include a photo and a video link, and then like a swatch. So I will show you the colors that I used. Um, just to get you started, we know you want to do your own thing because you women are so creative. I'm kind of thinking, is it bad of me that I want to do black on here, I think. And then I want the sit and unwind to pop. So I'm going to do black. If I hate it, I can flip it. It can happen. So I'm just going to do a sponge brush. So you can just get these. It looks like I used black last. Um, from Michael's and a big pack. And they just make it so much faster. Here's my color palette. And then I did pick out some ribbon I thought would go really good with this. And now I'm double, double guessing that bad boy. I might have to go back to Michael's or Joann's and find some better ribbon that represents. Now, if you've been watching me for the last some years, you know that I did not inherit the ribbon creating gene like my mother, Vista, has. I mean, she hogged that gene. She makes, her bows at Christmas are probably worth more than the presents, honestly, and that's okay because it is a pleasure to unwrap her gifts because they are beautiful. And I don't know if it's the difference of, you know, being retired and, and Mimi, Mimi had some coin to, you know, get some nice ribbon from Costco. And when I was younger, I had kids. No extra money to be had. And so no extra time either. These mamas that are like, my kids sleep. So I, so that's when I do stuff. No, that's not what happened for me at all. So I, I really wanted the dark color to kind of anchor it. I'm kind of thinking... I don't mind the gold, but I kind of wanted to leave this one the same. I don't want white because it would be too contrasty. And I'm going for a very calm look. So anytime you do contrasting colors, it wakes you up. It gets your attention. Anytime you do bright colors, like my protein water, it will wake you up. I'm looking for exactly what it's saying. Sit and unwind. So I'm looking for the cool colors. And then some neutrals. And this would be my contrast. Also the relaxed contrast a little bit. And I am going to stick a little gold on the outside of that because I just can't help myself. I'm a girly girl. So let me look really quick. Hmm. Sit and unwind. Sit and unwind. So our background. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions... Oh, Shannon. Hey, girl. I saw the, the one. She's in our door hanger club, and I saw the one you ordered, and I thought, absolutely perfect. Absolutely darling. So um, I thought that was cool. So sit and unwind. I wonder if maybe copper. Copper, copper, copper. If that would be too annoying, because that would, that would pop. And then I do have some, like, I call it Harley Davidson glitter. It's called Amber from Michaels. It's recollec Recollections extra fine. Do you feel like that would be too contrasty? So I'm, I'm really thinking I'm going to paint this the same color that it is. Probably put some gold on it. Repeat the gold here. Maybe here. Um, but I'm really happy with the direction it's going. So and another thing I could do is bring in one more shade of the teal, which to me, that's not a problem. I really like it. Um, I'm trying to stay away from like Easter egg pastels. Um, and so I do think maybe I'm going to try to copper this bad boy. 
and then I wasn't going to do more than one coat of the black because I can still see, see green and I'm very happy with that. Okay, so I do have some copper. Oh, here it is. Um, so I do love the Sargent's metallics. The copper, the gold, the silver. Um, they were incredibly affordable on Amazon when COVID started. And then they went to incredibly, I don't know, they're $17 to $22 a bottle. They do have smaller bottles, but to me, I'm like, whew, that's a lot when you when you know you're squeezing it out. So a lot of times I go down to Michael's and I get a small bottle of copper. So and then Michael's has sergeants, but you gotta be careful. That's not acrylic, that is temp. Oh, here. This one I'm looking for. Woohoo. Okay. So, just FYI, the green will, the, the brown's going to show through the copper. So, if you hate that, give it a base coat of maybe the red, and maybe that's what I should be doing. Let's try it out. So, putting the copper on, putting the copper off. Or, what you can do is just do several coats. So, it is kind of washy. You guys can see that it's pretty washy. So I'm thinking maybe I do need to put a base coat on there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some red as my base coat and then I'm gonna go over it with copper. So metallics, the thing to know about metallics is that metallics are pretty wimpy. Oh my gosh, what are those girls chewing up now? They're very wimpy. Um, the word is transparent, translucent. Um, but what I like to say is they just don't have a lot of body to them. It's like a skinny girl at an all-you-can-eat buffet. So I'm only doing one coat of this red. Tell John to invent a clip for hanging the signs and then patent it. Okay, so some people, instead of the holes, is that what you mean, Shannon? Um, so some people use, some people ask us for no holes, and then they use the alligator clips that you get from Amazon, and you get like a hundred for like six bucks. Um, I feel like they're kind of heavy, and I get a lot of wind, so I keep the holes. And for the door hanger club, it's, I don't know that he'd offer no holes, just because, you know, when you're doing 75, 100 at a time, it's just nice to get in 20 hours later, get one design done. <laughs> okay, so, kind of like that. I'm definitely going to hit it. Ooh, you can't see it very well, can you? Um, I'm definitely going to hit it with the copper, and I may have to add a little cream to the edges or gold to the edges to get it to pop. We're going to hit it with copper first, and then we'll decide. The great thing about this is if, it's just like painting a wall. Oh, Lula, knock it off. So if you're painting a wall and you don't like the color, you let it dry, you look at it, well, that's a lot. You look at it for three or four days and then what you do is you move on. You, you go into the store with all your other paint samples, which is probably what you should have done to begin with. I'm speaking from personal experience. And then you go, okay. So even though I pick paint colors all day on a small scale, when it comes time to do walls, I'm colorblind, I swear. John can say, we're in the store, we're picking colors. He's like, oh, that has a lot of yellow or that has a lot of eggplant. Or... And I'm like, no, it doesn't. And then I get it on the wall and I'm like, yeah, you're right, it does. Okay, so this is a little wet. I might be leaving some call it skid marks. I don't know what to call it. Behind. Oh, I get like it. Remember, I wanted to go really subtle on that. Okay, sit and unwind. Um, but it might be too subtle. So what I'll probably do is add a little either gold or cream just on the edges, just so it pops. Why I love, Lula, what you got, honey? Why I love door hangers is, oh, good God, girl. Um, is that if you're really artsy fartsy 
you have a lot of experience, you can take this and go boom and make and do all kinds of brush strokes so that it looks beautiful. Okay, so I'm looking at the snow on my window. It's beautiful, but it's distracting. <laughs> um, and you can just go crazy or you can just be very, very um, simple. Like I just block colored mine and I'm good with that. And then you can feel really good about what you did. Okay, so I'm gonna give the gold a base coat. So you could mix raw sienna, which is a deep yellow with a little brown for the base coat, but I'm just gonna use golden white. Kinda gives you the same look. I don't have to go buy a special paint or make my own. And then I'll just go over top of it as soon as it dries with some gold. Now, I love, so this gold that I have out is Craft Smart Gold. It's fine, but I really, please God, tell me I got some. I really, really, really love the um, Sargent Acrylic Gold because it's super duper bright. And I don't see many figures. It's super bright. I love it. It really, it brings something to the game. Let me just put it that way. Another I'm gonna use another mega sponge. Okay, some sign painters that, you know, where you blob the paint on the Cricut Cut paper, um, they can use one makeup sponge and do the whole thing. That's just not me, guys. I cannot. All right, so we are just using this as our base coat, so I don't want it super white. You can use a paintbrush, but you're gonna have some globs. And those globs are going to translate as having to paint all of the sides. So I'm just gonna flip this over. And this will be almost the same color as the wood. It'll be a good base coat for the gold. It'll cover the imperfections in the wood. Oop, I got the little whoop-de-woo. No go through the holes. Oh, go through the holes. Yellow, yeah, I could do yellow. Shannon, I could do yellow. Yellow might wake me up too much. Um, I'm trying to think, the lady who did it at the paint party, she was so stinking cute um, in Rockford. She, and I have it on my, in my photos group. Um, I think she had one yellow chair. That was cool. And if your wood is really perfect, you can leave it naked. I wanted to call our group the Bare Naked um, Door Hanger Club, but I didn't know. What's that offending some of you guys? And then I thought, you know, my people, they don't care. My people, if you're not my people, you've already moved on. You didn't make it to minute 23 of the video. <laughs> And if you are my people, you have your popcorn and you've clocked out at work and you're watching the crap show that is this live. <laughs> because I am you and you are me. We're the same person. Okay, so it's mostly dry. I'm just gonna come in with a little gold. If I feel like, oh my gosh, it just doesn't show as well. I have an amazing um, glitter, of course. Of course I do. Where did I put it? Hello, oh, it's up here. It is extra fine. I know these are huge jars. You don't have to buy the huge one. Remember, I teach paint parties. It's extra fine gold from Recollections. It's so shimmery. And maybe that doesn't speak to you. Oops. Too much white on that. That's what I, this is what I got to do. Dry, baby, dry. Um, I got to find a whole new clean spot for the gold. Remember, it's not my gold choice. I'm not seeing my gold choice here. I might have to break down and buy some. There we go. That's fine. That's fine. It's, I might have to put some glitter on it. But remember, I kind of wanted a neutral look for my relax. I wanted it to pop against the darker background. Some of you might have white for your background. I got a glob, y'all. Okay. I globbed it. Okay, I'm totally starting that t-shirt club. And we're gonna we're gonna make some cute 
cute sayings. I have a, a, a list started on my phone and anytime I say something, I'm like, oh, yep, yeah, that'd make a good t-shirt. Um, and a good, again, it probably isn't gonna be appropriate for everyone. If there's a dirty joke, I tend to find it. Not too dirty, you don't want the little kids being able to catch on to what you're doing. I wanted to make sure that my back wasn't all globby. I have a naked spot here. I have a little sponge here. I'm gonna look. So now it looks like natural wood. And so what you can do if you wanted it to pop is you could rub the edges with either black and or white or silver, that kind of thing. So the same thing with this chair. I said I was gonna come in you could do this with a sponge. Just tip, just hit the tips with a little bit of rubbed in gold to distress it a bit. I feel like I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna have to do it to all of them. In between, and gosh, if you don't like it, just repaint it. I say I'm gonna wipe that off, but I'm not gonna. Okay. Okay, so that the gold kind of pops just a little bit. It's just a little bit. It's really subtle, guys. You could do it with white. White's really gonna stand out. You can bring a tiny, tiny paintbrush in and just kind of do a little white accents. That would be fine. I'm gonna show you how I'm going to um, use my Harley Davidson. Um, extra fine. It's not really. It's just called, um, does it have a name? Amber. It has amber. Okay, so I have my watered down blue, a little cup, a little glitter. If you are moms and or teachers, pay attention. You've taken glitter from our kids in school. I get it. Glitter bombing everywhere. But we all have a hole inside of us now. A, a non-glitter black hole. You can now reintroduce glitter to your kids. They can reuse these cups. You can let them dry every time. So some watered down Craft Smart glue. It's super cheap. One jug would last you all year. Um, I'm gonna mix it in with my um, glitter choice. Kids like to be responsible for their own stuff. And then your kids would paint, paint the glitter exactly where they want it. And you do not have a glitter bomb where the custodian is, maybe you're the custodian, um, very angry with you because they have to spend 80 hours. Some people don't like the feel of glitter. It freaks them out. You know how I know? I teach a lot of ladies during a week. Some fellas now, some fellas are getting into it. But you're welcome. Take that little trick and bring glitter back to our our classrooms. Maybe that's our problem. Maybe it's not that we're not keeping up with other countries in math. Maybe we're not keeping up in other countries in the glitter. Maybe if we made ourselves happy here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being a dork today. I've missed y'all so much. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. So you could do this a couple times. Can you guys see that? Are you seeing that? Boom. I'm excited. So we teach or we sell re, uh, wholesale also to my peers that teach paint parties everywhere. So in like New Hampshire, down the road, um, Cal lots of California. And um, I'm, can I get to meet someone from Idaho here in an hour? And I'm super excited to do that. So other than when I get out to a ladies paint party, I need to stop calling them that. Sitting at home doing doing work for 10 hours a day. That's a little lonely. Some of you work from home, you get it. Okay, so why do I have to stop calling them ladies paint parties? Because the fellas got a little, you know. They got a little, like they felt like excluded because I was calling them ladies night. And so, and some of the designs could be definitely masculine if you wanted them to be. 
or not if you want to add some pink or glitter um, so we said okay more the merrier because I teach at venues and it would help me out to have more more spots sold and definitely help the venue out to sell more drinks so we call it just painters choice now I can't call it paint night because that's another venue and I get really upset even though paint is generic and night is generic okay so painters choice night totally different um anybody can come to those now so if you want to paint with your fella bring them oh my gosh so in love okay so let's talk i'm gonna come back i'm gonna do a little bit of extra stuff i'm sure let's talk glue so you can just use wood glue but i have a life and i'm busy so you could just go down to the dollar store and get the super glue wood glue it is only really wood glue so you're gonna have to weigh it down you're gonna have to wait a while you can use super glue but then you have to totally know you got to be committed to each and every piece that you got to make sure you have it exactly where you want it because there's not really any wiggle room but that might be something you're interested in so i tend to use craft glue and so there is e6000 and there is Gorilla Clear Glue, Clear Grip. This is, um, they're both clear. I tend to like to use clear, but the white does dry clear. So things to keep in mind is when you press these down, after the glue is on there, glue can seep out. The glue is glossier than the paint. You can get away with, you can try to wipe it off, but it still kind of shows, just be honest. So you can get away with that by spraying your finished work um, with a high gloss if you didn't have a lot of white you could do that um, and so sometimes just even using polycrylic can work it can dull down the gloss from the glue or you could just not add a lot on there so what I mean by that is like with relax a lot of times people want to outline everything but instead just put a dab here and there like a, a nice a nice dab okay and then you'll want to press down. So have clean hands for this step. Press down for like 20 seconds. If you only just sit it there, it's gonna glide. What do I mean by that? It's going to, you know, when you're you're uh, slamming your brakes on in your car and you're gonna, I forget what that's called, waterboard. Oh, that's not right. Um, it's gonna slide a bit. And then you think you're in place. You go have a glass of wine at another person's table and you come back and you're like, well, crap. Um, so you're gonna press it and hold it, okay? For the smaller words like this one, what I like to do is just take some of the glue, squeeze it on a plate, and either take a, a bad paintbrush, a paintbrush that just doesn't have any life yet, or a toothpick, and then I just, on the back side, I just put a couple dabs here and there, and then you do want to make sure that everything is going to stick. What do you want to use to hang it? Gosh, anything. You can do wire and beads. You can do some jute very inexpensive jute you can get three rolls at the dollar store it's skinnier than this this was michael no this was amazon um and it's not a big deal wasn't very expensive and then you can totally do some wire and some oops hold on some um, bows make it really pretty i do not offer bows at my paint parties because honestly that was a freaking rabbit hole i did it first but then I never had the right color, the right width, blah, blah. And so I get it. Everyone ha likes what they like. Um, but I don't play that game just because I hate disappointing people. So instead, we lowered the price like two years ago on these from $49 to mainly $45 unless they have a lot of wood. And then you just provide your own, your own um, bow if you want them. Not everybody even wants a bow. So they just paid for a bow and they didn't want one. So something that says you and you love it, only do what you love, people. If you're not a bow person, don't put a bow. Maybe you are. Anyway, I'm going to say bye. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. And if you're in our door hanger club, um, I know you're probably watching this video. And if you're not, we invite you to join. You can get one of these at the best price we have. Just check out the website. Bye, guys.